records today on, on defense? What, what was working? I don't even know. We broke. I think fewest the point, fewest points, right? Almost field goal percentage. Oh, I didn't even know that. Good, thanks. <laughs> um, no, I thought that um, we played solid defense. I thought the times when we pressured, we forced them into a lot of turnovers. Um, I thought sometimes when we went to a really young lineup, we gave up easy offensive rebounds and um, some easy uncontested shots. But I think overall, I think we played a solid defensive game. So we talked about Monte's performance today. She was hot. I mean, four for five from the three. Um, let's, we'll take away those couple turnovers, which, you know, some of those are fresh mistakes. Like, trying to pass it into the post from, like, five feet beyond the three-point line is always a turnover. <laughs> so I'm teaching um, her that. Just She's a freshman. But then I thought our team did a really good job of when she hit two. They were so unselfish, and they looked for her. So then they found her, um, and she was hot. I think she was even surprised in herself. She was making so much, but she's a great shooter. Um, she takes a lot of pride in it. So I was really happy to see her hit the drum and see her, you know, with 12 points in 16 minutes. It's very efficient. Throughout the season, the third quarter has been a little bit of a hiccup. But tonight, you outscored them 20 to 2 in the third quarter. What, what was the change there? Well, I think that um, I was concerned at halftime with the score for us to lose our intensity and concerned we'd come out kind of flat. I think that we kind of we maintain the intensity. I thought, I thought at times with the starters were out for long periods, they came in kind of cold. Like Erie came in cold and kind of bricked a couple threes. But um, we've just been focused at playing one more at a time. So we play wars and we play five minute increments. And so our goal and objective is to win every five minutes. So that's what we try to focus on. So I kept on saying zero zero win this war, and we had some goals as a team. And I thought that they um, did a good job executing all of them. I think much better job second half. First half, we were like 314 from the three. And then second half to, um, to end up, so that would make us seven for, I don't know, seven for 14 or something. Second half, so much better job from the three. Can you always talk about how your defense really kind of sparks your offense? Um, and that seemed, you know, we usually see that. And then in the first quarter, you know, at the beginning, you're sort of, you don't have your legs under you. And then all of a sudden, you know, Sam gets a steal. Then you have that, you know, everybody started stealing and, and the defense just really came together and, and did their thing. Was was there something that that you did to sort of spark that or is that or they don't? No, I think that's something that I shouldn't have to spark it. They have to do that every day. I think being a starter, that's the expectation, the standard in the program. Um, but we have some really solid defensive players in our starting lineup. So if you look at Ari, she's one of the best players in the country that um, changes the, the game on both sides of the floor, which is very rare. So defensively, she's our catalyst. And then um, Sam Thomas, Sam Thomas, her long arms and good timing, she finds a way to get deflections, and I don't even know how she does it. And then I don't know if you noticed, but Amari didn't start second half, so just resting Amari, but then Helena comes in and does some great things. So I thought overall, um, solid. And you know, Kate's improved so much defensively, so She's guarding some good players, and Dominique is, always does her things and does what she does well. So I think um, sometimes we had to encourage them to pressure the ball a little bit more because that's when we were forcing turnovers. I think when they had a little bit of a lead, they relaxed a little bit, and that's kind of, you know, that's just young mistakes. But then we said, hey, pick it up or call the timeout or sub the people out, then they came back with more of a sense of urgency because that's the expectation. And, that's, <laughs> and then the end of the first half, you went on a, what, a 17 0 run. And then second quarter, they only scored on free throws. So yeah, so, really but, so those are the things. When I talk about next level, and I think of just the future, like preparation for the, a month from now, those are the mistakes I don't like. So we put them in the bonus. We have to know, OK, we're really aggressive. But then when we have four fouls, then that's a time to kind of pop back and be solid. We're not good at that. So I, but I, I like the fact that I have to rein them in versus like tell them, go and like, you know, put a fire, you know under them. So I like, I like that, but I don't like how we're not smart at that yet. We're not, we don't know, okay, pop back and just be more contained in those situations. We're, we don't do that well. And I think the other, if I'm looking at negative things and ways to improve, the other thing is getting to the free throw line. Yes, we're 29, t 10 for 29 from the threes, so 35%, but I'd rather that number go down five attempts and then g increase like five or six or seven from the free throw line. We can't only have Ari and Kate go to the free throw line. So that tells me Sam needs to attack the rim more, Dominique need to, needs to attack the rim more, and, um, and Helena. So those things will get more free throws because I don't want us to only go to free throw line you know, six times. I, I, Ari usually can go ten times herself. So that's an area that we have to get better at. So, no, 
um, Tara, I had heard she was mostly a shooter, but she did some driving today. Is that part of her normal game? Yeah, I think um, when you're a good shooter and you make shots, you're going to have open penetration. So Sam is going to have open lanes to the basket. Helena will. Um, I thought she, she finished well in the first half, second half. She did not play well. But I thought she was just pressing and got a little frustrated after she missed a shot. But she can drive. She's athletic. She has a lot of bounce. She's good in transition. So those are things she'll evolve to do consistently. Um, she's just a freshman, so she still makes those freshman mistakes. But um, she's athletic. Um, she can do a lot of different things. And I think you're going to see her defense continue to improve. I mean, we believe in her, and she gives us great, great stuff from the bench. Were you planning on playing 13 players today, like before the game started? Yes, I mean, if I can, if there's a situation, I, you know, it's hard. It's hard to manage so many players. It's funny because when you're a coach and you have seven players, you're like, oh, I don't have anybody to put in. We can't sub this and that. And then when you have a lot of players, you're like, oh, you're trying to manage minutes and all that. So that's always, that's a good problem to have, especially when we have things like, you know, I think we had 39 points off the bench. That's really good. But when I can, I, I'm looking for opportunities to give experience. So opportunities to put different combinations like Samaje and Cheval together, Berna and Cheval, Kate and Cheval, Dominique and um, Samaje. So those things because we need them to gain experience before the Pac-12 and putting them in situations. And you saw we played Bryce at the one some, you know, Mara at the one some, Helena started some sets. So those are combinations where we need to just develop people in pressure situations because you can't do it in practice. It's different. So. Only five minutes was there like something physical? No, she was just, a, you know, had a tight hamstring. So I just wanted to rest her a little bit. There was no need, um, you know, but I did not, I didn't want to not play her. I wanted her to still get a couple minutes in, kind of see how she feels. But we turn around pretty fast. Um, Saturday and Sunday, you know, we practice Saturday and Sunday, then Monday a game. So it's kind of the time I'd rather rest her a little bit if we can, but give her a couple minutes. Coach, it seems like you guys did a really good job being unselfish on the offensive end, finding open shooters. Anything, anything you say about that? Well, we talk about that. Um, we have really good chemistry um, on this team. We, I'd like to think that every player is pretty unselfish, or every player is, uns every player is unselfish. Um, I, I, like the, I like that. I like when Helena, so there's a, there's a particular play that sticks out in my mind. Helena drove um, down the right baseline. She had a layup. But then she hit her teammate for, I think she hit Ari for open three in the corner. I, th I don't think Ari made it, but those are the unselfish things I like. A couple times, Dominique drove, or Ari drove, skipped it to Dominique. Dominique drove, skipped it back to Ari for a three-point shot. Those are things we work on. We work on our driving and kicking a lot. We work on making the extra pass. In a perfect world for me, um, we don't take any contested shots. Now, some people have a little bit more of a green light than the other people because they, they've proven they deserve that. But I don't want any contested shots. If, if I could um, break it down on film and show us every great shot to me is an uncontested shot. And we should always work for uncontested shots. So that's, the, that's my philosophy. It doesn't always <laughs> happen. And sometimes, it's, sometimes there's players where it's like, Ari does it all the time. It's like, no, no, yes, good job, you know? But um, I think the, you'll see us become better and better at that. You'll see us drive and kick a lot better in a month than you will now, just because there's seven new people. And I don't know if you guys remember, but at the NIT last year, we got really good at that. And there was a couple possessions tonight where all five people touched the ball and it went to six, seven um, passes and a shot. And we will get great high percentage um, shots. And the more unselfish we are, we'll continue to shoot 47, 45% from the floor if we do that. Um, like how long you're going to play Aerie because uh, she came in like the four minute mark in the fourth quarter and then she came out like two minutes after like how do you determine how when like, when is the acceptable amount that she's going to play well I told the starters to go like the last four minutes because that group that was in before just was not playing defense and giving up offense rebounds so I subbed them I put the starters back in and the goal was to have two minutes so give me two good minutes and then get out just because that's a, that's a different starting unit so people some people probably like why to put them back in but it's a different unit with Elena, and it's, it's good experience, and just see if they can go, come in the game after sitting and give me some good minutes. Um, I don't really have a crystal ball, and I don't think like, oh, she's only going to play 20 today or 30. But I also look at situations where if we're up 40, do I really need to play her? You know, there could be a reason to play her with a certain lineup, but then it's a good time for me to give Mara, Tara, you know, um, Helena, different experience at different positions, Bryce at the one. So those are the opportunities I can do that. But sometimes I think the challenge is putting them all together at once. Because then you have, it's hard playing two or three freshmen 
you know, together, because then there's, there tends to be a lot of mistakes. So putting, but then I don't, we have a lot of people, so I can't put everybody in with four starters. It just doesn't, there's not enough time. But I, I think Ari tonight, 22 minutes. I mean, Ari's going to play over 30 minutes a game. She'll probably play 34 minutes a game. But she won't play 38, 39 like last year, th thankfully. So what's the biggest takeaway from like a, a game like that with such a mismatch score? That we could still, we didn't relax. Um, we played a lot of different people. We didn't, um, we didn't, you know, just start doing whatever we want and playing street ball. I think we still stayed disciplined in what we do. It was ugly at times because of different combinations, but we still did some really good things. I mean, we had two players in double digits. I'd like to see more, but then a lot of people scored. Everybody scored tonight except for Samaj and Bryce. So I think, um, and, and the, I, the little things I think about in a game like this is uh, the reaction when I put Berna in. So in the timeout, I put her in. They were excited in the timeout cheering. And then I watched the bench when Berna hit a three. The whole team celebrated like we won the championship. So those are the small things I look at because all the other stuff takes care of itself. And um, I thought we did some good things and gave a lot of people some good experience today. You had uh, 15 steals um, the other day. I think you had 13. I was looking that up. But do you have a specific number or, or something that you look for in the steals? I know they've gone up a lot this year. Yeah, don't look for a number because the problem is sometimes when I put a number, then everybody starts reaching and getting out of position for everything. So I'd rather them be disciplined and not go for steals unless they are 100%. Um, but then in situations where I want to turn someone over is when in a trapping situation or being extra aggressive, that's a play call. I don't want to just say, oh, we got to get this many steals because then what happens? Aerie starts reaching and everybody's lunging for steals and I don't want that. I think right now we're playing really good positional defense. So Kate's getting deflections more than she ever has. Sam Thomas is getting more. So I think those are the things I want because I don't want to create bad habits. But then in our press, our press was effective tonight. So those things to work on, getting better at those little things are important because, you know, we're getting ready to face in, you know, a month some, some beasts, you know. So I want us to just continue to improve on that stuff. No, it's just kind of day by day. Um, you know, she's doing some stuff at practice, but, you know, I think the objective would be to have her ready for the Pac-12. Um, if she could play a couple games before that because she's feeling good. But it's just one of those things where I, I don't want to, like, rush. That's why, like, at this point right now, if someone's really banged up, because we have a lot of depth, so if it happened to anybody throughout, I would rest them a little bit now because um, I'd rather, you know, have them healthy in the Pac-12. All right. Cool, thanks. Happy holiday. Tomorrow, what was it like to bang the drum after the game? <laughs> it was fun. I mean, we won the game. I, I had a good game. Chopped my shots, and uh, it was. Ex I, kinda, I was a little bit nervous, but it was good. Um, I think the fact that I just hit those shots, I felt more comfortable, and it was easier to play. How much more comfortable, comfortable are you now compared to like the start of the season? Um, definitely more comfortable. Like I know what are we playing. I like understand what the coach wants, and I just like feel really part of the team. What's been the biggest adjustment? Um. Well, it's really physical here, and you know, being the new one, the freshman, it's hard learning all of the new stuff. And I'm, and like some of the rules are a little different, and we can't reach that much on defense. We got to be disciplined. You uh, see, the uh, your defense today as a team was, uh, you know, you kicked it up a notch. There were times when, uh, I mean, everybody was getting deflections. You were really doing your things and narrowing the passing lanes, forcing them to throw the ball out of bounds, all kinds of things. What sort of, um, when you guys get together, are you like, is there something that you do to say, like, we need to, like? Yeah, we say, like, we need to hold them, like, under these points. So we do that, and that's why we play, like, really hard defense. I mean, we work on practice on defense every day. So, like, we are getting better on that, and I'm glad that that shows in the game. You kicked it up a notch this year, and especially in this game. Um, was there anything a little different this week in practice or anything that kind of made you guys come out with more intensity? Um, we didn't do anything different. I feel like we always want to punch first, like in the game. So that's why we came, like, that aggressive. Yeah, I agree on that. <laughs>
Mara, when did you know you were on fire for this game? After the first shot, the second shot? Uh, I think it was after the second shot, and I saw that like team my teammates were trying to find me, and I was like, oh, I gotta hit those shots. You know, they're actually looking for me. And I, I think after the second one, I just like I knew every shot that I'm gonna take is gonna go in. Lucia, how would you describe Mara's game overall? Uh, I think she plays really good defense. She works hard like every day. I see that in practice. And then on offense, she can definitely shoot, uh, like um, hit shots. And I'm glad because she gave me like two assists. <laughs> so that, that's cool. You were that great assist. And that like towards the end of the game, wasn't it? That oh, the, uh, out of bounds. Oh, yeah. Almost out of bounds. Yeah. Almost out of bounds. So, is, so we get to see more of that from your game? I've never uh, wait, seen you I, do that. I really like like given those paths, like under almost the basket. I, li I really like that. And see, I'm glad he made it, so that's cool. Well, Mara, you don't really play the one much. Uh, you haven't before, right? Oh, yeah. What, what's it been like having to play as a, a point guard? Yeah, um, when like Adia started to put in, like in practice, she started to put me in as one. I was like, you know, it's not that comfortable because I have to, like, as a freshman, it's hard. I have to get the team together. I have to be more vocal, and that was kind of a problem for me the first month. But once I got used to it, I think I think it helps me because I can like see the court more and help my team more. What have you learned from Ari at the point guard position? From Ari? Yeah. What did she told you? Has she told you? Oh uh, no, she like she helps. She's she helped me a lot. Um, she says that you know, as a point guard, I have to be more vocal. I have to get the team together. I look at her a lot in practice. I see like she works hard every day. Her intensity, like how she drives, how she sees the court. I, it's amazing to watch her play. And how does Lucia help you? Lucia? Lucia, Mika. She, <laughs> uh, well, she's like, r the one thing that really helps is that she's also international. She, like she's been here a lot. She's been through everything. And uh, she also talks to me a lot and helps me in practice. Like everyone helps me. Sorry. Lucy, you said that you guys set out to hold a team under a certain amount of points every game. What was, what was today's total? It was 35. I think it was 35. 35. So we got that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lucy, what have you thought of the way Helena has played this year? Uh, I mean, she's a great player. I've seen her before, like in Spain, playing. And I really like to play with her. Like, we understand each other. And I think she can, like, really help the team. Just because you're both from Spain, have you been able to help her through the transition? Oh yeah, we talk in Spanish all the time, and yeah, yeah. Sometimes I help her annoying. with everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I don't understand what yeah. they're saying. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.